obviously we're looking at this holiday and particularly uh, Skyward Sword as, as being probably one of the biggest games of the year. Um, personally, from my perspective, it's certainly one of the best Zelda games that I think we've ever made. Um, I, I truly think it is, it's a game that is, it has a lot of heart to it. It does an amazing job of really painting a beautiful portrait of the characters uh, and their lives in this game, which I think a lot of Zelda fans really adored about games like Majora's Mask and, and The Wind Waker. Um, beyond that, I think it's, it's gonna be a tremendously expansive Zelda game. Uh, and so from that perspective, I think it's gonna end up being something along the lines with, uh, in terms of the way it introduces new gameplay through Wii Motion Plus. I mean, this is gonna be an experience that if you play video games, you're gonna have to buy this game and try it because there's nothing else like it. You, there hasn't been a game up until now that has really done what this game is doing with motion control and doing it in a way that isn't just some kind of a gimmick. It's, it really is all about immersing yourself into the gameplay and it does an amazing job of doing that. Um, as far as uh, kind of release timeline, obviously we're looking at, uh, at holiday uh, this year and we'll be going into more detail on things like the gold remote that was announced at E3 um, as well as uh, some of the, uh, the other events that will be going on. Um, but on top of it all, we've, I think the, bone, the kind of what this game is going to benefit from is the fact that this year is the 25th anniversary of the franchise um, and there's going to be a lot of uh, events and, and activities going on. Uh, surrounding the Zelda franchise in general that I think is, is going to help get the fan base excited and, and really generate interest in Skyward Sword. There are some people out there that have said, oh, we, you know, they really want to see a, a change in the formula. And one of the things that I think our, our development teams at Nintendo are really good at is introducing new gameplay ideas uh, whenever they come out with a new game. I would certainly say that games like Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks were certainly departures from the traditional Zelda formula, uh, and particularly when it comes to the play control and the, uh, the stylus control in those games. But this game really does, I think, a, a great job of um, kind of blending overworld into dungeon and, and really making it feel like uh, there's just so much more exploration and puzzle solving going on. Um, I also think that uh, from a kind of an overall structure perspective, uh, the way that you're you're going back and forth between the uh, the surface world and Skyloft uh, and some of the other areas that were shown at things like the round table at E3, uh, I think really you're going to create a, a certain degree of, of kind of freshness that the series uh, can really benefit from. Uh, personally speaking, it's I mean I'm I'm not I haven't finished the game yet myself, but I'm fairly deep into it, and it's so far probably one of my favorite Zelda games ever. Obviously when you're looking at some of the, uh, the capabilities of the Wii U system, we wanted to show something that was going to really kind of show off what it can graphically do. Um, and, and I think Zelda and the art style that we showed is one way that, that does a great job, particularly of highlighting things like the lighting and whatnot. So it was really just more an example of what the hardware is capable of rather than you know, necessarily a demo of an upcoming game or anything like that. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is going to be coming for Wii this holiday. Thank you.